Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cynical, and this is Gems of War. And today I have your weekly preview for January 17th, 2022, the week of weekly event Tusk ends in 6 days, 15 hours, 14 minutes. We're going to go straight to the Soul Forge. Uh, 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 gotta get my trip out. Alright, Soul Forge, then World Event. World event scoring, world event team, circle back around, talk about everything, let's go. Y'all know the drill. Soul Forge. How many vault keys did y'all get? I, I got like, man, that six hour live stream yesterday kind of took something out of me, so I'm not feeling the greatest today, but doing alright. Uh, but yeah, I ended up with like 250 or something vault keys, nothing crazy, but more like it's... I wanted it to at least get 200, so that felt pretty good. I know a lot of you out there probably got like 400, 500, 600, but... Anyway, we have Sycorax, Mother of Darkness, um, Infernus, Queen Aurora. So four pretty good mythics. Um, Sycorax, one of my favorites. Uh, Mother of Darkness, meta PvP team. Infernus, top 10, falling out of the top 10 type of troop. Queen Aurora, um, you know, fourth man off the bench, fourth girl off the bench, whatever you'd like to say. It's kind of a hard one this week. I think Mother of Darkness might be number one just because of that uh, Rope Dart Night Spider team. But Infernus is pretty close, so it's up to you on that one. I think technically I would have Infernus slightly ahead, just because Mother of Darkness can only be used for, like, one team. And Infernus... But also Infernus, I've been having fall almost out of the top ten lately. So they're both borderline top tens. It's up to you what you want to do, but Mother of Darkness or Infernus would be my recommendation. 24 red, blue, brown, darkstone, daemon, rogue. Deal true damage to an enemy and the enemy below them. Boosted by purple gems. If an enemy dies, create 12 purple gems. Otherwise, summon two sisters of shadows. Inflict bleed on all enemies and matching four or more gems. And stealthy and dark death. So, I've showed this team before. You can just look it up on my channel. Or I'll try to link it at the end of the video if I remember. But it's the Night Spider, Rope, Dark, Captain McCall team. Captain McCall starts all your rogues with 50% mana. The Night Spider makes a bunch of blue and purple for your Rope, Dart, and your Mother of Darkness. Your Rope, Dart will get everything into kill range for Mother of Darkness. And then Mother of Darkness will kill and make a bunch of purple. And then it just loops back into itself. Rope, Dart has an extra turn. It's pretty good. Infernus, 24 red, yellow, purple, broken spire, divine elemental, deal, splash damage to two random enemies, explode five random gems, then it burns all enemies in four or five gem matches, summon a firestorm and an enemy dies, uh, it's just, it has a lot going for it, um, I used to be like a top, I used to have them at like 5, 6, and now I have them more at like 10, 11, somewhere around there. He burns on four or five gem matches. He does multiple things. He does pretty heavy damage. Then he explodes five random gems, which is quite a bit. Which usually, you know, gives him some of his mana back and everything. So, pretty good troop here. Uh, borderline top ten. Same with uh, Mother of Darkness. Um, I think Sycorax would be next. One of my favorite troops in the game. Uh, not trying to tell you he's S tier or anything. I just... Whenever I use it, it's fun. You put them in first slot. You uh, cast on a color. Double a chosen color or gem on the board. Then create three more gems of that color. Give life to all allies of that color. So it's really fun when you're using it on like a Guild Wars team. Where everybody uses the same color. And then you can make your old team a 999 HP. Um, also, uh, somebody... I think it was Shinori or somebody like that... Um, was whatever that new troop we have a new troop recently that like does an instant kill if you get a bunch of extra turn maybe megavore but um not a new troop but a troop that we've been talking about recently megavore was in the soul forge last week i think but it'd be cool to like put sycorax on a team with megavore and then take advantage of that death below um i don't know something bunch of extra turns bunch of hp everybody on the same team with the same color you know what I'm talking about. It's pretty fun. And I'm not a... I always tell y'all, offense is king in this game. 
And this is the exception here where it's pretty fun to be defensive. Um, then we have Queen Aurora. It's not terrible, not great, but I don't know. I, I always kind of had a soft spot for Queen Aurora. She, cool unicorn, cool colors, nice troop art. 24 yellow, green, purple, silver glade, divine beast. Give all other allies barrier and life. Create 10 gems of a chosen color. Gain bonus mana from all gem matches. Most of the time, a troop will only have um, a link for one color. This troop has a link for all the colors. So it's pretty cool. It's like the fourth troop that you put on a team of three that you can't think of what, you know, like a Possessed King type of deal or a Ulor or a Vernalis. That's Queen Aurora, and she's been in the game longer than all of those. Like, what should I put on this team? I got three really good troops that are really synergetic, but I just don't know what sh I should put on the fourth spot. Oh, I'll just put Queen Aurora. I'll just put Possessed King, you know? What's our legendary troops? Crimson Bat. Emperor Liang. King Averlorn. And Anknum. Hmm... I think King Averlorn would be the best one out of those. Reason being is he has a 50% start for elves. Elves such as Arachnean Weaver. So I don't want to go too in-depth on him, but he does also has a summon. Um, he's pretty cool. You mostly just put him at the bottom of an elf team and have him start all the elves with 50% mana. Um, he's not top 10 or anything, but... Probably the best one here this week. I think all the legendaries you'd pass on this week. Emperor, Emperor Liang has an enchant, a random ally in four or five gem matches. Destroy all gems of a chosen color. He's okay, but nothing too special. Anknum. Kind of crappy. And Crimson Bat is used every, ever so often in combination with, like, Draculus or some other troop that does true damage to all enemies. And you can kind of do a thing, but it's very specific. Um, he used to be way better, and, you know, he's one of those. He's a super, he's like Infernus, but even older. Like, he used to be good, and it's been even longer. You know what I mean? Weapons! Pirate Signet's okay. It's one of those C-tier Blackhawk, create a mix of blue and red gems for each Blackhawk ally type of deals. You might be able to use it in certain restrictions. Captain's Cutlass, same thing. Blue and red for each rogue ally. Ocean's Protector. And yeah, that's about it. Nothing too crazy. Um, overall, with the Soul Forge, I'd say Mother of Darkness or Infernus would be what you're going to go for. Unless you're some crazy Arachnian Weaver enthusiast that you want a 50% start for, it, for it with uh, King Averlorn. Um, let's go do this world event. Uh, we also have Guild Wars this week. Oh my gosh. That's poop. I don't know why. Sometimes I'm into it, sometimes I'm not. This week I'm just... I don't have a lot of energy for it, but we'll see. Uh, the evil little goblin sorceress had somehow combined peaceful narwhals with giant whales and iridescent algae. Jeez. The result, giant glowing blue narwhals were everywhere around Blackhawk, sinking ships with their giant horns. Remove their horns to collect fish to lead the narwhals away. We have skull and spell damage. Um, let me collect my reward so I can get some tokens. And I'll read you the scoring. If the game would load, it's still having... We were talking about that on the 6-hour live stream yesterday. If you missed that, you know, 6 hours and 17 minute live stream yesterday... The chatathon. If you missed that, we talked about a ton of stuff. So, and that was one of the things. The loading that they fixed, quote unquote. Um, so now I need to get a medal, just so I have it for this team that I'm showing you right now. Holy cow! It's not even the vault of it anymore. And they fixed the loading. Remember, they fixed it. They did a whole 6.1.5 update patch to fix the loading, guys and gals. Look. They fixed it, remember? Oh, yeah. Still going. Yellow, purple, brown, blue, green, red. Yellow, purple, brown, blue, green, red. Yellow, purple. I guess I'll just uh, let y'all know when it's done. 
And uh, I'll come back and... Oh, there we go. Never mind. It's finally done. Buying stuff in the shop makes the game very uh, overtaxed. And it has to load forever. Because I'm just buying stuff in the shop, that's all. It's very tough, you know, to buy stuff in the shop. So it has to load for a very long time, because it's so hard. Come on, game. I'm trying to make a video here. Anyway, what are you guys doing? You guys have a bunch of vault keys now? Huh? You could talk about whatever. Just long loading screens. It's really fun. Badge of Tides. Looks like I need to buy another loading screen here. Scylla. Two times Scylla. Medal of Tides. Alright, let's go see what the scoring is. Um, world event sinking ships. There are six battles that players can encounter during the event. Merlion, Ware Shark, Mantis Shrimp, Scylla, Megavore, and the Narwhale. The first five battles are randomly chosen, but they all have an equal chance of appearing on the map. The battle against the Narwhale will only appear after the player wins four of the other battles. However, its battle will not hang around. If you don't fight it immediately, it may vanish. Either way, after that, all battles reset, and you'll need to fight another four to spawn the Narwhale again. Um, scoring. You can find the following rewards for each of the different battles you may encounter. Merlion, four fish. Mer uh, Were shark, five fish. Mantis shrimp, five fish. Scylla, six fish. Megavore, eight fish. Narwhale, one narwhale horn. Each fish is worth two points, and each narwhale horn is worth 25 points. The battles against the Merlion, Were shark, Mantis shrimp, Scylla, and Megavore will drop a variable number of fish on average about 1.18, blah, blah, blah. So you want to kill Narwhale whenever you see it, then you go Megavore, then Scylla, then Mantis, Shrimp, and Were Shark are worth the same, then Merlion is worth the least. So I think it's just a rarity order there. Uh, Megavore is a mythic, it's worth the most other than the Narwhale. Narwhale is the one you're going to want to take every single time, I'm sure it has a different emblem and everything, you won't, won't be able to miss it. Pops up every four battles. Make sure you kill the Narwhale. But other than that, we're going to pick Megavore, who's a freaking mythic. So pretty easy. Maybe you need a, a visual aid. Uh, because you don't, you're not very smart. And you just need a visual aid. Um, base rarity. Let's see what we're working with here. Megavore, Sycorax, Bio Blackheart, Captain McCall. So, I don't know, y'all. What are we going to do? We want to hit all enemies. Most likely. Uh, last enemy. Kraken. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm probably going to make a team and then come back. I don't want to waste too much of your time, so I'll be right back. Holy crap, we don't have very many options, do we, this week? That's crazy. Uh, I don't know what to do. Um, I do, I'm do. i doing Bronze Luck Pistol, Triple Shocktopus. Let's see how it goes. I need to put on my Medal of Tides, and then, I don't know, maybe an Anu and a Nisha. I couldn't... Th I mean, the only thing that hits multiple enemies is, like, Kraken hits two enemies, like, Sharky or whatever his name is hits the scatter damage, but he's pretty weak. Um, the weapons, you can't use, like, Dawnbringer. The weapons are restricted. Let me know in the comments, man. I know you could probably go Skull damage somehow. It's like, uh, Skull Beard and Scylla and, you know, something, but I don't know. I usually try to go Spell Damage, uh, when I have the, the option. Um... At least three of them are using red here, because watch this. Uh, they're all dead, you know? Boom. So I don't know if this will work, like, super deep, but I think it'll get you through today. Let me know in the comments uh, what you guys came up with, and I'll shout you out if I uh, end up showing your team on the Teams Tuesday video tomorrow. But this is what I got for you for today. Um, can get you through the day at least. We do have Guild Wars this week, so it is kind of more important to get your campaign and your world event done today, so... Uh, I don't know, man. Alright, everybody's using red except for the Vow Raven, so... Uh, boom, they're all dead, you know what I'm saying? And then... Bang. 
So that's that's what I came up with. I, I'd be interested to see what uh, <laughs> other people came up with. With the, they didn't have uh, you know anybody else to look at, or uh, I don't know. They probably they always got their guild though. So guildies help me make a team. I need a team for my video. Uh, we got blue, blue, blue. Let's do blue. Shocktopus does true damage based on whatever color you pick. And you want to pick the color that uh, the enemy uses the most. Uh, let's do like one more battle. You get the drift here. Um, yeah, we were really restricted on weapons. There was nothing to hit all enemies. We were, the troops really wasn't not anything to hit all enemies. Except for like Sharky and Shocktopus if you get lucky. And like right here, they're all using blue, right? So we just need to get our Shocktopus up. And then we can grab blue. And they're all dead, right? So, that's pretty good. That's what I would recommend. And this would work as the no, 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 too. So, pretty sure, right? Shocktopus is not a legendary or a mythic. And I'm not using Dawnbringer. So, it's just an epic. So, that's what I would recommend, at least for today. Let me know what y'all came up with. I'd be interested to see what y'all came up with. I would, re I would be really interested to see what, you know, who came up with. But, uh, yeah, this is what I came up with. And... I think it's for, it'll work for today at least. Um, anyway, that is the world event, uh, the Soul Forge, the scoring, the team. So let's circle back around and see what we have going on this week. All right, Tusk, new rare troop, Narwhal. Get this troop with glory from the rewards tab of the shop. Guild Wars help your guild win the war. Sinking ships experience our new world event with your guild mates. Play world event battles every day to unlock rewards. The Godmother's Orb campaign still going on. Week of Blackhawk, all Blackhawk troops gain 10% to skills. Week of Beast, all Beasts gain 10% to their skills. Bonus gold if you use Narwhal in PvP and Explorer to gain 400 gold. Okay, so let's check out the Glory Shop. Uh, I gotta give my um, Spoils of War or else I forget. Loading, loading, loading. I am so sorry. I would cut this out if I, I wasn't, you know. Probably not going to, but you know. Anyway, Narwhal. Let's get uh, get it up to uh, Mythic. There we go. And you're getting Arcane Spirit Trait Stones. Holy crap. Everything... They, they I think they made the loading worse. Like... That's what we were talking about on, li on the six-hour live chat-a-thon yesterday. I think they screwed up the loading. They didn't fix it. But uh, 10 blue, purple, Blackhawk Beast. Destroy a column. Deal true damage to the last enemy. Then submerge myself. Well, I'm glad this thing, uh, you know, wasn't the answer. Because then I would feel stupid. Um, Arcane Spirit Trait Stones. You get one... For each you buy, but we have we have blue purple, so let's go check that out. Blue purple trait stones. What can you fully trait with that? Troops such as Ferris Ra, Necromaster. Um, Skady has an ice storm, snowstorm. Um, Vernalis and Tangle and Fairy Fire. Ulor Freeze and Fairy Fire. The Possessed King. Unstable Possession. Zulgoth here, but uh, he, he doesn't really need to be fully traded, I don't think. If I say something wrong, make sure to correct me, y'all. Liraza, Unstable Mind. Um, Scylla, Deadly Waters. Uh, anything else? Actually... Actually, empowered start battles with full mana. Actually. Um. Why do I always click on Spirit Dancer? Spirit Dancer, like, looks like another troop that has empowered. Actually. Uh, that's it. So, kind of a crappy stone other than, like, Possessed King and, uh, whatnot. So, Laraza. Let's check out the event key drop table. Blackhawk Troops. So let's see what we could get from that. If you want to throw event keys this week, which I'm sure you threw them last week to try to get Flaming Oni or High King Iron Gut. But let's say you did not and see what we can get here. Um, 
Space Rarity and Blackhawk. We have Megavore and Sycorax, so your second chance to get Megavore if you want that troop. Decent troop, not a top 10 or anything, but uh, probably a top 25, top 20. Sycorax, one of my favorite mythics. I like to use it for Guild Wars, put it in first slot with a uh, all brown, all green, all blue team, and then get our HP up to 999. Um, works a, a decent amount of the time, just uh, not against like Zulgoth though. Captain McCall, we also have Mother of Darkness in the Soul Forge. So if you wanted to make that Mother of Darkness, uh, Night Spider, Rope Dark, Captain McCall team, you have two of the ingredients this week. Captain McCall is in the uh, Event Key Drop Table, and Mother of Darkness is in the Soul Forge. So those are the two hardest to get, I would say. Maybe Rope Dark is hard to get too, but. Scylla, Kraken, Earth Mate Axe Lubber is an Empowered Converter. So is Scurvy Sea Dog. You saw us just use Shocktopus there. Um, but yeah, it's pretty top heavy. You got Sycorax and Megavore, two borderline uh, top 20 mythics. Uh, A tier Sycorax, B tier uh, Megavore, something like that. Then you have Captain McCall, who is useful. And then Scylla, who is useful. And then after that, you know, a couple empowered converters, but that's it. So. Pretty top heavy once again. I'm sure you used all your event keys going for Flaming Oni and Hiking Iron Gut, so <coughs> hopefully you can get this. Or hopefully, whatever. You got what you wanted to get last week. Or, hey, maybe you need Sycorax or Megavore. But it's pretty top heavy, like I was saying. So it's up to you, but I think I would pass, honestly. Wait for wait for like a top 10 mythic with your event keys. Um, anyway, what else do we got going on here? We need to look at the... What else is going on this week? We have... Today, of course, is the world event. The campaign. And Guild Wars starts tomorrow, so make sure you do your Sentinels and your Defense. Uh, tomorrow we have Faction Assault. So let's see if I have a team for that. Uh, it's the Black Heart. I already got this one at 500. I have a pure faction video on this uh, faction, I'm pretty sure. I did it on the first Friday of the new faction weekend. So I think I pretty much got that all done the first day. Um, we have blue and purple. So you could do triple cunning stone slicer. You could do Rowan. You could do King Gobtruffle. You could do Tesla. Um... Racti and Weavers there. High King Iron Gut, of course. Always good for uh, Delves. Megavore. You could do the Megavore Rowan thing that I showed you on my Megavore video. Pretty sure. Yeah, because you could do uh, Leprechaun. You could do Megavore. You could do Rowan. And you could do uh, Shield of Urskaya. So you could do that. That'd be my recommendation, I guess. Go check out that Megavore video that I made last week, about five days ago, and that'll show you a team that you could use in this faction assault. Otherwise, go with uh, Tesla, Rowan, or Triple Cunning Stone Slicer, I would say. Also, uh, Zulgoth and High King Iron Gut, I think, can be used here. That uh, world record team. The High King Iron Gut uh, Zulgoth team. So check that one out, too. The fastest... Uh, Delve team in the game. I think I made a video on that as well. So, but yeah, it's Hiking Iron Gut and Zulgoth team. All right, Wednesday we have a pet. Uh, I forget what pet it is, but it's a Blackhawk pet. Uh, I can't remember. Thursday's Corsair class. Corsair class is above average. It's like a, it's one of the best blue classes, and you use it with the Mother of Darkness. Captain McCall team, so there's another ingredient to that team. If you have a rope dart, you can make that whole team this week, pretty much. Corsair class on Thursday. Uh, Friday, we have what? What is this weekend? Um, we got Guild Wars, we got World Event. Oh yeah, we got the new faction, Fire Rift, coming into the game. So that's pretty cool, a new faction on Friday. Uh, I think it's Broken Spire faction, uh, Fire Rift. So look forward to that this weekend. I'll sh I should be live streaming Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll see, though. I just did a 6-hour and 17-minute chat-a-thon yesterday, so I'm not sure if I'm going to, like, maybe give myself a slight break or not. Uh, but 
you, normally we live stream Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so I'll most likely do it on Friday for sure with the new faction. But um, yeah, new faction Fire Rift Friday. So I think I did everything right. Uh, campaign be the last thing. Uh, Brian was back to his idiotic old self, but now we were dealing with an evil rogue goblin sorceress who had been trapped in a lamp. She flew off, not in chicken form, southwest, so we followed her. Uh, Blue Slayer, Pest Control, Gold Digger. I already did this one. Adventurer. At least Pest Control will be easy after you got all those vault keys. Complete all battles on a single adventure board. What are we getting? Sweet buns. Sweet buns. And three attack. Yeah, I think that's all for uh, this video for you. Uh, I did the Soul Forge, uh, Infernus or Mother of Darkness there. Um, we did the World Event Team. I think Shocktopus is a decent troop for that. Um, the scoring, you just do Narwhal if you see it. If not, you do Megavore. Um, pretty easy. It's like rarity order. Uh, maybe you need a visual aid, and you, you know. But uh, yeah, I'd be curious to see what other people came up with. Put it in the comments. I don't. What did, did you go skull? Like, what did you do? There's nothing that hits all enemies. The weapons are restricted. It's crazy. But yeah, that's it for today. A like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel. Comment below, and I'll see y'all tomorrow for Teams Tuesday. Put any teams in the comments. So you can help me out with that video tomorrow. We are, it looks like we already did the no, 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 and yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Faction Assault Team, Guild Wars Team, whatever color it is, and then two World Event Teams. So it's more interesting than you think, even though I already did the no, 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 and um, everything. I still, I'm still i going to do a Guild Wars Team. I'm going to do a Faction Assault Team. Like I'll do two World Event Teams. So... It's more interesting than you would think, uh, the Teams Tuesday video tomorrow, and it's pretty short, so if you have a small attention span, it should only be like a 10 to 15 minute video at, at most. But yeah, you guys are the best, I love you so much, peace.